Welcome back to Vampire. We've just entered the Temple Sewers. We've got the entrance in the park in the West End. Not sure what's down here, obviously going to explore it, but I'm especially hoping that... I think it's the daughter that's down here, Louise Teasdale. We're looking for them. I'm thinking they might be down here. I cannot enter. Show me your power, newborn! Hi! Wasn't expecting you. As soon as I dropped down here, like, a second before they came out, I thought, huh, this kind of looks like a battle arena. And it is. Who are you? Leon Augustine. They're really high level. They're obviously a, a Volkod or Volkoid? Volkod, I think. They're wearing a top hat. Very finely dressed. Anyway, they're susceptible to physical damage and shadow damage. Oh wow, that didn't do much damage, did it? And they have red defense against guns, so using guns not really gonna work. Yeah, this is going to be a long fight. They have so much health. Him for a second. Yeah, you stay there. Let me heal. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay. Whew. Sex and blood. Oh, 
Shit. No one can hide from hold on, hold on. Uh, what do I have for healing potions? God, I've gone through so much. It feels like it hasn't been healing as much life as I feel like it should have. Weirdly enough, I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, uh, I don't have any healing potions, do I? Or serums. I don't. Stamina. Stamina. Blood. Okay, I'm gonna have to use blood, basically, to heal. Steady, slow and steady. Kneel, traitor. I think I got this. Yes! <laughs> Thick, brisk blood sample. I think that's a new thing to analyze. That was a hard fight. Damn. Whew. Wow, get a look at that beard. <laughs> they got a very stretchy beard. <laughs> Whew. That was satisfying. I'm proud of myself. Sweet bracelet. Alright, I picked up a piece of lore, I think. Here we go, the violence of Volkods. Never let the size of a Volkod fool you. These massive bastards can be as quick as any leech, and it can be put down the same way, by puncturing and pinning their rotten carcass to the ground before beheading them. Remember, it's all about preparation and exploiting your target's weaknesses. The problem, of course, is that Volkods have no weaknesses. They're strong, fast, sensible, and deadly. They're killing machines with one simple goal, to put their huge claws around your neck. So. If any of you lads are unlucky enough to ever face a Volka, just remember this. Dodge and make it mad. Hurt it, taunt it, and make it lose its temper. Volkod's brain uh, lose it when irritated enough. They stop thinking and start blindly attacking. This is your only chance to win by gaining tactical advantage against a stupid beast. Use it. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch, pre-win leader. Yeah, I don't think they're stupid beasts. So that's the only way out of here other than back up. Hmm. There's a lot of different ways to go. Yeah, there's no actual map of the underground, it's just the overworld map. Is there really nothing back here at all?
I'm getting pretty close to that person that I'm looking for, 42 meters away. Soiled letter. Oh yeah, this is the, I, the, I guess the father? My name is Robert Teasdale. Whoever may find this message, please try to help me. My daughter Louise disappeared a few weeks ago. She was seen for the last time in a bar in the neighborhood. Not the one where she works as a waitress, but another one, the Dancing Trout. Two witnesses saw her leave the place with an elegant and unknown man, maybe a foreigner. There are many rumors of men and women vanishing in the area. I'm convinced my Louise has been abducted and is, is kept somewhere nearby. I know the police will not help, for they already have more important things to do. So, I've decided to look for my Louise by myself. If you find this letter, it means I failed saving her. My Louise is a good girl who does not deserve to die like this. She's of medium size with dark <laughs> something funny about saying she is of medium size. I mean, I get it, they're describing their physical features, but... My medium daughter, with dark hair and a scar on her right cheek, please search for her and finish this work for me, God bless you. Louise's father was determined to find and save her. Weeks ago. That gives me a lot less hope that they're still okay. I assumed it happened maybe days ago, not weeks. Unlocked. So we had a shortcut. I guess. Sort of. It's not really a shortcut. This place is confusing. Got another water puzzle? Just raised some sort of a bridge? It's locked. Okay. Yeah, I think we just needed the bridge between those two doors. Wait, is that it? Oh, hi. Level 30, damn. Oh, holy crap. Okay, AoEs are the name of the game here. I'm guessing now that I have this shortcut unlocked, maybe I need to mess with the water levels again? Make it go all the way down?
I really don't think that accomplished anything. But surely this can't be the end of it, right? Oh! Oh, 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 hello. Yeah, they're definitely down here. They're really close. Hey, Squeakers. Wait, Squeakers? Does that mean a hideout? There they are. Ooh. Oh, that's the person who kidnapped them, I think. Okay, so I think they're still fine, then. They sound pretty human. Sound, th sound like they've got lots of life in them. I wonder... I wonder why the Ekon... Some of the Ekons seem to be kidnapping people. What are they planning on doing with them? Because this is the second person we've seen kidnapped by the Ekon. The first one was when we kind of first came to the West End. That person inside of the bar. No, it's a level transition. I'm so sorry, Louise. And Louise died there because Jonathan was stuck in a level transition for four minutes. Took about three minutes and 20 seconds to go out and then back in. All right. Um, I hope there is a hideout down here because I actually really need to make more potions before I face that Ekon, I think. I don't know if they're a boss fight, but certainly looks like it. Whoa. Hello. Long axe. Oh, it's two-handed. Often used by woodcutters or firefighter? Firefighters? Weapon ability. Blood absorption. Hmm. Strange. So I'm guessing just like the stamina two-handed weapon, the club thing. That probably just means if you right-click it does like a normal attack, but it takes a bit more time and gives you some blood. I think I'd just prefer a parry. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Could also increase the blood absorption with every hit by just getting the specializations. But anyway, how does that compare as a two-handed weapon? So it's level two. Um, common Scythe. Stamina 30-30. So it's significantly better than the Common Scythe. Yeah, it does quite a bit more damage. And all the other stats are the same. 5, 30, 5, 30. This does 194 damage at level 3. Yeah, it's actually quite good. It does quite a bit of damage. But it doesn't have the stun like the mace has. I definitely prefer the stun to the mace. Because if you're using a two-handed weapon, you can't use a stake in your second hand. So stun is really vital. So I would definitely use the good mace over it. Oh, Still hold out hope that there's a hideout, though, given the rats. Wasn't there a place to teleport to? Yeah, the teleporting place is just back up to where I just went, though. So, no hideout? Damn. I should have went to a hideout while I was outside. How long are you gonna keep me locked in here? What are we looking at? High blood resistance. Oh, hi. Can you even get to me? Let me go, you bastard! Can I just cheese this fight and just hit him with ranged weapons from here? Oh, they're not a boss. No, they're not going to be easy, but definitely not as hard as the Volkod. Damn, they're fast.
for bread! How long are you going to ah! keep locked in here? Good at dodging. And you're dead. Wait, you're not dead? How are you not dead? Is there some trickery going on? You're good now. I got him. They're saying something about I'll never be your wife. Is that why they're they've been kidnapped? Uh Okay, hold on, I think I got a quest item or a piece of lore. Recent diary. Thirteenth of October nineteen eighteen. I've just arrived in London after a grueling journey from Manchester. The city is sad and despaired. It will not be difficult to find a woman willing to escape death here. I cannot wait to start my research. Soon I won't be a virgin anymore. Hmm. So they're just hoping to kidnap somebody and, and rape them and do research on them? Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. The cell is ready. Found the perfect match. Louise refuses my proposition. I promised her I would never force her to do anything. I may let her starve a little, then she'll understand I'm her only option. Okay. Well, at least they're nothing more than starving, I guess. Miss Teasdale, are you all right? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man, this vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you are free to go, as your abductor is no more. I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Thankfully, he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Oh, they have a wait. They have a headache, but I can't do a medical checkup. Maybe you have to wait till like a normal situation to do that sort of thing. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale, and be careful. Until we meet again. Just gonna leave them to haul their father's body out of the sewer alone. Do you know how hard that would be? Do you know how much people weigh?
Well, since man number one died, I'm, I'm glad I, Jonathan, man number two, could save her from being raped, basically. I mean, said I wouldn't let, I wouldn't do anything to them that she wasn't okay with, but then also I'll just starve her a little and then she'll see, so like, oh, yeah, not really. I think have sex with me or you will starve to death is still rape. Oh, looks like the exit where that level transition is takes me right here, which was actually where I was going to come to try to find Louise. Because it was like the closest place on the map that I could find. Have I been to this area? Who's that? I guess I haven't? Let me see if there's a door to unlock here. Aha! Nice music. I think that's a new track. I haven't heard it before. I haven't been to this area at all, have I? No. Okay, so this whole building here, that's the temple church, I guess. Well, let's go inside first. Or maybe not. I thought these people were inside, but they're not. Are these twins? They have the same face. <laughs> what is this? Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. What a strange person. What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see. Agamemnon and Pericles. Interesting names. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? No, I'm not. Good for you. It's a good thing to have a clear idea of where you stand concerning crucial questions. Don't you think? May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness. But it's just because he's prouder than I am. Who are you waiting for, exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be, then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you're not in your place? That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. 
Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Hello again, Dr. Reed. Did I just accidentally talk to the same person? Good. Not you. You! Stop doing an animation, I can't talk to you when you're doing an animation. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. This music's... interesting. Not only is it a new track, but it's the only one that I can recall that has synth in it. It's got like some a synth pattern going on in the background. I don't think I've ever heard that before, at least I never consciously noticed it in the songs. So far the songs have all been very kind of classical instruments. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. I wanted something this city can't provide. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. I just did a quick Google. I was thinking if I looked at their names, I could maybe find something about who they are. Like, I'm feeling like they're kind of based, like their personalities are based off of their names, maybe. Because they're so strange, Pericles and Agamemnon. Maybe they are, but I didn't really find anything concrete. So Pericles was an actual Greek person, like an actual one that lived. Agamemnon was a character from Greek mythology. And that's about all I found out, which tells me nothing. Tell me more about why you want to leave London. Then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city as soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? They both ask me the same question. No, I don't. I don't recognize it anymore. Or perhaps I just don't like it anymore, now that I've seen its true face. I don't recognize it either. Or at least what it's become. Hate, violence, social disparity, and I am not talking about the criminality these days. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer. And here we are. That's what your brother said. These people are infuriating. 
Goodbye. Hello again. There's that synth coming in. There's nothing more I can say to them? That's not all the hints. Goodbye for now. Oh, now I'm really curious. Well, there's gotta be somebody or something I can find. Some- oh. Wait, are you the person they're meeting? Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are, and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Well, fuck off. How are you doing, by the way? Do you need medical I'm a f Thank you. There you go. Well, that just nicely skipped their question. <laughs> I distracted them with fatigue medicine. Hmm. What are you investigating, exactly? I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago. Louise Teasdale. It seems you already found my other missing person, Mr. Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. I already we found him. Do you have... No. I already found them? What are you in... I have a missing... Tell She's... Do... That's weird. That option still appears. And I can't say anything about the fact that I've already found them? Okay. Well, I don't think this is related to the two people up there. Agamemnon and... Pericles. What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? Jeffrey McCollum. That's the pre-win person, right? Fergal Bancha. Fergal. Fergal was the, the Volkod that I killed, right? The original one? Nah. I don't think I want them in my business. I'm good. No, I've noticed nothing, Odd. Alright. But keep your eyes open, though. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions. Especially when there's a killer on the loose. Fuck off. What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with the civilian, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. Interesting. What are you- I have a Tell me if you didn't- Just want to see if that was anything new? No? Alright. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. 
some very intriguing people in this part of the town. Alright, well. I think. Whoa. Wait, where'd they. Where'd they go? Pericles. I can't believe we are still waiting here. I can't remember them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Let me in! Damn your invisible wall! That was weird. I thought maybe their person had come and they were walking away with the third person. Right, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna explore more of the, I guess, chapel district? Temple district? <laughs>